Howdy survivors and welcome to Cedric's Saloon, over here on Ark Survival Ascended. So yeah, with the introduction of Bob's Tall Tales Adventure Park, we had to do something with the skins and make a saloon. So we went and looked at some reference pictures of old Wild Western saloons. And I was a bit of a whip cracker on this one with the Dino Lord. I was like, I want this, I want this. And he was amazing. And he's built something that I think is incredible. It also takes a bit of inspiration from Boyle Hobby Time, who has this like imaginary Wild West that he builds dioramas around. And we love it so much. So hopefully we've done the Wild West a bit of justice. And hopefully you guys like like it. Without further ado, let's take a look around. So we've got some bottles here on the railings, you know, for shooting practice, for target practice. And then down the bottom here, we've got, you'll see a lot of these in the base. We've got the pots, the new pots that came with the pack. You can add different foliage to it and, you know, you can have a different flower in a pot. It's absolutely amazing. But we've gone with a lot of the cactus ones because, you know, it's the Wild West, isn't it? We've got a couple of other bits of decor outside here. Not too much though, we didn't want to take away too much from the structure of the building. So let's continue with the outside and head over around onto the railway tracks. Bit dangerous, I know, but I'm a risky son of a gun. And we can have a look at one of the thyla carts that I've made. And this one is like a like an allotment gardener's type of build. I just wanted something with some plants, some vessels, some boxes. I just wanted it to look kind of quaint and I quite like how it fits here. So. I really wanted to do something with the new plant pots. I just love them so much. I love them so much. I think we've been needing decor like this in Ark for so long and we are just making the most of it. So then if we come around to the outside of the left side of the building, we've got our train. Loving the addition of the train as well. Absolutely awesome. I've painted the train a little bit, but not too much. I quite like the way it was, but then I've made a train cart here using the new skins again, of course. And you'll see its name is Rupert. And this is thanks to somebody who commented on our short of the train that we did. It is the London Transport 57XX Duck number L99, who knows locomotives really, really well. He's got a fantastic channel where he shows off and talks about a lot of model trains. So if that's something you're into, head over to his channel and show him some love. And yeah, thank you so much for the name. I think the name Rupert really suits it as well. And then we have our prison cart, which you may have seen in the prison cart video that we did. I'm loving the possibilities with this new stuff. I cannot stress enough how amazing of a time we're having with it. It is fantastic. And as you can see, the train tracks go all the way up to the top end of the base, to the back gate. We don't usually have gates around our bases. We find them a little bit ugly, but we had to for safety reasons around here. So that is the front of the railway station. Unfortunately, I haven't done the sign there. I'm not sure what happened. And then if we come around here, we've got the sheriff's department. So, you know, you want to stay out of trouble, otherwise you are going to get thrown in here. So we'll take a better look at the inside of the Sheriff's Department once we do the inside of the base. We'll have a sneak peek through the bars now. And then a look at the side entrance. Like I said, we took a lot of inspiration from Western pictures. Also games like Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Red Dead Redemption. We love those type of games, we love the Western stuff, so we really enjoyed doing this. And just next to the jailhouse, we have got the general goods store. I've got a couple of pots and stuff outside, a little chair, different plants in the pots. That one there has got none in it for some reason. I think I perhaps used a JVH landscaping one and then they removed the mod from our server. So it just looks like an empty pot, but I kind of think that adds to the effect a little bit. So I'm going to leave that there. And if we come down here, okay, we've gone a little bit RPG game. We've got a quest giver. We've got a quest giver, but you have to go out of your way to find him. And he's there inside a jail cell. He's been put into jail for being a thief. He's a dirty thief. And so you gotta be careful when you accept a quest from that guy. And then if we take a look just behind us, we have got the water tower. So we've put the big giant new water reservoir on top of a tower, which we've made out of the new scaffolding stuff. We've got a ladder to get up there, lamp at the bottom, a lamp at the top, because, you know, the night shift worker's got to see where he's going, hasn't he? And we've also got a little seat at the top of there as well, so it also doubles up as a lookout tower. And that is it for the outside, so let's take a look around the inside. So we'll come through the saloon doors, and we've got this big open space in here. So we've got like a bar and poker hall, and we'll take a look at the poker side of the room first. So we've got a couple of poker tables, We've obviously got our wood storage, which comes with the, some of this stuff comes with the AA mod as well. Not all of this stuff is actually from the Bob's Tall Tales set, but the majority of it is. I think there's only a couple of other bits. I'll, I'll point them out as we go that we've got from the AA mod, you know? 
So we've got the piano, obviously, which did start playing random music one day and we thought we were being attacked. We looked all around the building and there was nothing there. So we picked the piano up and yeah, the music turned off. So it hasn't done it since. So fingers crossed <laughs> it's fixed now. I don't know what was going on there. So we've got our Phoenix up here on top of this special little sealed off room in the poker area. And that is because if we take a look at the sign down here, this little area is reserved for the Phoenix Poker Club. So you have to have a special membership for the Phoenix Poker Club if you're allowed inside this room. That's why there's a chair outside for the security guard to make sure no unauthorized person is allowed access to this room. And inside the room, we have the private poker table. We've got some bookshelves. We've got the gents club sign. We've got a chest on a table because you know, you got to store your money somewhere safe. And that is the poker side. Oh my God, can I just say how much I love these Chesterfield sofas and chairs. Oh, they are so gorgeous. Love them so much. And we've got the lamps in here as well, the tall standing lamps. I know they're supposed to be street lamps, but I think they look really nice in here. The Dino Lord put them in here and I was like, oh yeah, they're brilliant. So if you come over to the bar side, we've got a few tables and chairs. We've got bottles where the customers have been drinking. Some of them have had multiple, one too many, you might say. And then over here, we've got the bar. And can I just say how cool the Frontier skins look on those pillars? Oh, that is just bloody lovely, isn't it? And if we take a look up at the signs, you'll see that this is Cedric's saloon. So we've had the Church of Cedric, we've had Cedric's bridge, and now we've got Cedric's saloon. In case you haven't guessed it, we're big fans of Cedric on this channel. Positive vibes. And then we'll take a look over the edge and into the bar here. Now you can see there's three different types of barrels here. So we've got the regular barrel, we've got the new tall standing barrel, and then the smaller barrels are part of the AA mod. They are the spoiling barrels where you spoil your meat. We've got loads of bottles up here. We are a fully stocked bar and you can paint the bottles. I don't know if you know this, you can paint them different colors. So I've been going around paintbrush happy, just like slapping on paint on loads of them. It's been really fun. And then we've got the ice boxes here. So the ice boxes and the boxes underneath that you see, those are the veggie crates and the ice boxes from the AA mod. So those ones don't actually come with the Bob's Tall Tales Adventure Pack, but I just really like the look of them. So I've, I've had to put them in as like extra little shelving for the bottles. We've got a couple of the new lamps in here as well. These lamps, oh, I like, I cannot get over how amazing this set is. I can't. It's the best thing they've added in Ark. I know I keep saying it, but I just love it so much. Like, look at those structure skins. They just look so nice. Let me know what you guys think of this, okay? Are you as into it as I am? Me and the Dino Lord are just buzzing over it. We get a full view of the room from here. Then we'll head up the stairs at the back up and into the dino area. So this is where we usually have dinos out raising and stuff. And that's the railway entrance from the inside that you've seen earlier. So we've got quite a decent space in here for raising. We did have a couple of Rexes in here for kibble and stuff. You can raise Wyverns in here. Not too many, but it's just big enough for a couple, you know? And through there we have our kitchen, so we'll check that out in a bit. Uh, in the corner over here, we've just got our little hatching area. So that egg box, that is one that comes with the AA mod as well. And you'll notice some of the storage structures are a little bit smaller and that's because they come with the AA mod. And as we head up into the smithy area, you'll see what I mean. It's a lot of the AA stuff that we've got up here. That plant obviously comes with Bob's Tall Tales. It is gorgeous. The forge is tiny, the vaults are tiny, and the fabricate is tiny because they are all AA. And they just fit so much nicer in a building like this. So we've got a tap with the vessel, some more of the new cool plant pots. Love them so much. And that is just the workshop area. The mortar and pestle that you've seen up there, that is also part of the AA mod. Right, so let's head through here because this is the sheriff's department from the inside. So if we take a look around, we've got an area through there which leads to the cells. And we've got the desk for the county deputy sheriff with a couple of the new things on the table. Oh God, and then I've made this, okay. I'm not very good with the paintbrush with the controller on here, but I wanted a wanted poster somewhere. So I put this up and I didn't like it. I was gonna take it down, but the Dino Lord said, no, no, keep it up, it's brilliant. I know he's taking the mick, but I've, I've left it up anyway. So if we head through into here, you can see we've got a couple of the coffins. These are also new things that came with the set. You can actually use them as a bed to respawn at as well. They're amazing. So I've put a few of these in here, kind of like as a warning to the prisoners as well. And there's that little thief. You can see him through here. That's the inside of his cell. 
Let's take a look at him. You really got to be careful of this guy. So all he has in here is just a potty. He's far too badly behaved and you want to hear the mouth of him. Nothing but cheek. Absolute miscreant. And in the cage just next to him, we've got the fertilizer distributor from the AA mod. And it's just so disgusting that we always hide it somewhere. But I thought since we've got cells, the best place to put it would be in there. So finally found somewhere for one of these things that we don't have to like hide it underneath the floor somewhere. So let's take a closer look at the sheriff's desk. So we've got one of the new cool chests that you get with the adventure pack. And we'll just take a closer look at the things we've put on his table here. Oh yeah, we've put a canvas in one of the frames that you get with the pack as well. I love the frames. I just did not want to ruin this by painting something on it. So I've just left that blank for now. And then if we come across to the room that you've seen over here, which is the kitchen, this is the one which actually says general goods from the outside. I did that before we decided to make it the kitchen and I've just left it because I think it just looks really cool being the general goods store, even though it is basically a kitchen. So we've got our tiny little AA cooking pot. We've got some crops down here. We've got the grill. And then if we take a look at the stairs, we've got the gardening station, which comes with the AA mod. It looks really pretty. We've got another cool cactus plant. And then we've got our fridges. We've got the honey synthesizer and the dehydrator, which are, again are with the AA mod. If you are not playing on official and you haven't got the AA mod installed, Oh, seriously, I would so recommend it. That's one of the only mods that we actually have on this server. And it is just a godsend. The structures are smaller. You can organize everything and it just makes life a whole lot easier. So in this cupboard down here, we've just got a couple of cryo fridges. And then if we take a look up the stairs here, we've got a long balcony which overlooks the saloon and the poker area. And we've just obviously we put the structure skins on pretty much everything. We've left a couple of stone bits just for extra effect, but most of the stuff has been skinned. Uh, except for we've got glass doors on here because we noticed that on the reference pictures we looked at, all the saloons seem to have had glass doors on this layer. So we've gone ahead and done that. So it's quite a nice view from the balcony. Gorged earth is really, really nice. It's looking so good. We also have the bell, the town bell. Love the town bell and it makes a really nice loud ringing sound as well. Our mate Rich has got one in his house. He's made like a church and every time somebody like flies past him, he sees someone outside, he starts ringing his bell and stuff, you know, he's a bit of a nutcase. And then if we come around this way, we are back to the crafting room. And we've got one more thing that I need to show you here. So if we come up this staircase and head out onto the roof, this is where the other little buildings are, the ones that were inspired by Boyle Hobby Time. And it's just a big, massive area. We usually have our wyvern breeders up on here, but I've taken them away just for the video. So we've got our windmill up there that comes with the adventure pack. We've got one plant species Y. Is it plant species Y? I feel like it's plant species Y. You can let me know, but I think it's that. We've got one of those up here, just because it looks really pretty. And then just some cute little buildings, random bits of scaffolding, railings all over the place. Just the Dino Lord doing what the Dino Lord does, basically, and I'm so pleased with it. And this is where we keep most of our crops. So you'll see some of the crops are a little bit different, and that's because they are from the AA mod. So we've got like sap plants growing and rare mushrooms, as well as our potatoes and our corn. So if we come into the first building over on this side, actually, let's just take a look down the side of it. So there's more scaffolding down there. And then we've got the regular windmill, because obviously if you have a generator, it breaks during electrical storms on Scorched Earth. So we're coming through here and these are our breeding Argies, Thylers and Ankies. Dino Lord's been going for colours, as you can see. Our favourite event, the Easter event, because the colours are just so... They're just the best colours. And I like what he's done with the building at the back there. So he's gone for like the quarter walls on the bottom, then the windows and then the quarter walls on the top. I think it looks real nice, especially when you add the frontier skins to them. And up here we've got another water tower and some more scaffolding. Then we have got another little room down here, but we haven't done anything with this one yet. I'm not sure what we'd want to do with it, to be honest. It's quite small. So we've left that one empty for now. So that's this building. Can you guess, by the way, what colours he's trying to go for on these dinos? There's no prize, like, but yeah, just try and guess what colours he is trying to get into these dinos from the Easter event. And now we'll take a look at the second building. 
Oh, first, if we go down this alleyway here, I wanted it to be like an RPG. So when you go down an alleyway like this in a roleplay game, what do you always find? You always find a chest at the end, don't you? And it reminded me a little bit of Dragon's Dogma. You know, when your pawns are like, Arisen, there is a chest. Perhaps we might find aught of use. Or something like that. The little canopy thing that you see over the crop plots is actually made out of stone beams. So you know now you've got like, not just your pillar, you've got your thin pillar. Well, that's what this is made out of. I love the way it looks. So this one I've made into kind of our like private bedroom type area. So we've got like a little lounge area in here with some chairs, a table, a fireplace, a jaboa. We've got the AA mortar and pestle on the table next to the vessel. And then we've got a double bed which I've made. We've put a couple of treasure chests on the end. I love the look of the new treasure chest as well. They're so awesome. And then just a little reading area under the stairs. And then if we come up the stairs here, it's quite a tall build in this one. So it is all open. You can get up onto the roof this way as well. And up here is where the new windmill is. So let's come back down because I do believe that is everything we needed to show you of the inside of the base. I really hope you liked it because I absolutely love it. And it adds so much immersion when you're playing in a base like this and you know, you've got your cowboy outfit on and stuff and you're on scorched earth. I just think it's so good. So now let's take a panoramic view of the whole building from the outside.